So here we are on model two, uh, and we're going to add that plot that shows the number of adoptions over time. Uh, so this, you know, we just go ahead and grab the plot element, right? Um, and there's our plot, and we can say, we can give it a name, adoptions over time. We can give it an x-axis label, time. Uh, we can give it a y-axis label, adoptions, right? Um, and then the default is going to be plot count turtles, that's actually almost what we want, except we just want the turtles with adopted, right? Um, the turtles that have adopted. So we just add plot count turtles with adopted. Um, and we hit OK. And just clean this up a little bit, right? We go ahead and hit setup, hit go, and there you go, right? Now, as I mentioned in the overview for this model, right, the problem is, is that this is just going to run on forever. So we actually want it to stop. And right now, the plot doesn't look very good, right, because it's going to run on forever. Um, so what we want to do is add some code to make it stop at a certain time. Um, to do that, as I mentioned, you probably want to go into the Go loop. And um, you want to add um, stop the model if no one is left to adopt. So the command to stop the model is stop, but first we have to check if it's appropriate to stop at this point. So um, this uh, the easiest way to do this is to basically um, see if there are any turtles left who have not adopted, right? Because if there are any turtles left who have not adopted, we want to keep running. Otherwise, we don't. So how do we check to see if there's turtles who have not adopted yet? So we can say if turtles with uh, adopted, Right? So this is going to give me the turtles who um, have adopted, but we actually want the turtles who have not adopted. We want to see if there's anything left right, of that. Um, and what we can say is if there are any turtles with not adopted. So this says if there are any turtles with not adopted. In other words, are there any turtles left to adopt? Right? Then we want it to do something. But that's not actually what we want, right? We want to know if there are not any turtles with not adopted, which might sound like a backwards way of saying it, but basically we want to make sure there are no turtles left to adopt, right? And so if there are not any turtles with not adopted, then we want the model to stop, right? And stop running. So that's the basic code to check for that. And if we go back over and hit set up and hit go, Sure enough, the model stops at 19 ticks, and we can run it multiple times. And the nice thing is, is that you know one kind of measures how stochastic the model is. We actually get the number of ticks the model stops. But if you look at the results, we're actually getting a kind of an S-shaped curve every single time, very similar to the diffusion patterns we see in traditional adoption curves. So uh, this actually is a very related, uh, you know, initially at least to the kind of patterns we'd see in the BAS model. Uh, and so from that perspective, we're, we're definitely in the right direction. Okay, when I come back, I'm going to talk a little bit about models. So uh, this next model is a big change from what we've been looking at so far. And this is what really makes this kind of an ancient based model in many ways. Um, so we wanna, what we want to do is we want to start to add networks to the model, right? Uh, and we're going to start with just a random network. And so you might want to think back to the code we talked about where we added some links to a model in the past. Um, and we want to add those links. And then what we want to do is we want to have uh, the adoption rule change. Rather than social influence being modified by the whole population of adopters, we want it only to be modified by the local uh, neighborhood. Um, and as optional, and we'll actually get into this in a little bit, you could set up a distribution for the density of the agents, right? Um, so that maybe some agents have more uh, neighbors than others. Now, to do this change, if you want, what I highly recommend you do is you kind of open up the NetLogo uh, dictionary, then look under the networks uh, component and start to look to see what's done in there. Okay, when I come back, we'll build that model.